Hi, my name's Lee. I'm from just west of Charlottesville, Virginia. So I'm driving an outside van, 2017 Sprinter based vehicle. So we've had it since February of this year, so it's pretty new. Giving us a lot more room mm -hmm. to grow our family. Two kids now and then one due here in about three weeks. So designing starts about up to a year from delivery date. And the design focus is really kind of a team effort, what the customer wants and then what outside band can provide. For us, it was essential to be self-contained and to be able to accommodate everybody, to be able to go for the long haul. And by that, I mean, just stay away from campgrounds and, and go as primitive as we can. What do you think about this van? This van is awesome. First off, we've got a removable three-person bench seat. Once you pull this bench seat out, we've got recessed VersaTrack in the floor. And that allows us to put fork-mounted bike mounts. That allows us to carry two to three bikes running perpendicular to the wall over there. In a rainstorm or some inclement weather, we can turn these two seats around and then we can play a game or whatever we need to do. We're all kind of facing each other. Um, we do watch a lot of movies in here as well, but we do all that kind of back there in the back. Are you a kitty cat all of a sudden? Yeah. Is that where the kitties sleep? Just lots of storage space, obviously a premium. This is the Webasto, and then we have a Magnum inverter charger. And then underneath, cell booster. We go to a lot of areas where the cell signal is either super weak or it just doesn't give you enough of a signal to do what you want to do on your device. That signal booster does a great job of just kicking it up enough to where you can actually use your device. Yeah, does it really work in West Virginia? Uh, where we are now, it does not work, uh, but there are some spots in West Virginia where it does grab that signal and it gets enough where you can get a phone call out as opposed to just getting a text message out. Kind of our kitchen area, We've got a Dometic sink, both hot and cold water, hot water provided by the Webasto. Underneath, in this cabinet, is also an inline filter, basically a whole house water filter. So all the water that's coming to the top is gonna be filtered. So you don't have to worry about changing the water out every so often. I mean, it's gonna filter it for you. And we also have an induction cooktop. Yeah, we cook in it quite a bit. Obviously anything that's gonna stink up the van, bacon or something, we'll, we'll tend to cook that outside. Fridge freezer combo. And then just additional storage for pots and pans, utensils. Everything's got a soft close on it. Mm -hmm. Uh, these are the outlets for the Webasto heater. The Webasto heater does a great job and it keeps this van plenty warm. We've had it out in five degree weather. More storage up top. Um, right now we've just got all our sleeping stuff on one side and we run uh, some additional sleeping stuff and then also just blackout curtains and everything else that we need to cover the front windows. Down here we have our table and this table is removable, stores up front. And then this flips over and turns this space into a bed. Uh, the kids can sleep this way or they can sleep this way. We sleep up top, so this soft garage wall comes down, and then another bed slides out on these rails right here. The awning crank arm and the awning rafter, and then also the two table legs store under here as well. And this particular vehicle is an 18 gallon freshwater tank, mm -hmm. and there's no gray water tank in this vehicle. Okay, so we've just removed the backrest to one of the bench seats here in the rear, and we have an actual ski mount it'll drop right here so we can carry four skis. The cushions just come right out, really easy. We can access everything that's electrical. So the batteries, fuse blocks, inverter charger, two AGM batteries, right around 430 amp hours. Yep, we've got two solar panels, so 200 watts of solar. And after the AGM batteries, you just got your associated fuses for the system and also the inverter charger as that relay travels back up here to the controller. Do you ever find yourself being like, kids, no, don't do that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty nice, dude. It's a 12 volt AC, so it's a very, very low power draw. Does a great job of cooling. And then we also have a max fan in the back, which is both can suck hot air in or pool cool air in, depending on how you want to set it up. It's a great device, has a rain sensor on it, so it'll shut up when it starts to detect moisture in the air. What's the best part of this van? Uh, it's probably this Overlander bottle opener right there. <laughs> I, don't, I have no idea where that came from. We can also store stuff in the microwave. We do quite a bit when we're traveling and then we just pull it out when we want to use the microwave. Carbon monoxide, smoke detector, and this is wired to our cell phones. Uh, that's important in the event that sometimes we have pets in here, our dog stays in here, 
Uh, or if we're just away from the vehicle inside the house or at an event somewhere, we want to know what's going on in the van. If there is a, a crisis that we need to attend to, we can get on that real quick. All right, we walk around back? Yeah, we're walking around back. So we've got windows, lots of glass in here. This window obviously opens up as well. It gives some good ventilation to the bed when you're sleeping in there. And then a ladder to access the roof for storage up there. So this is you're looking at kind of the garage storage area and also our bed system. So this is a three panel bed and it just slides right out on those rails and then this unfolds, super comfortable. Um, sleep better in here than I do it in the house sometimes. <laughs> uh, you'll find a lot of different gear setups back here depending on what we're doing, whether we're cycling or skiing. And then in here is our toilet. You can access that behind the garage wall, which is great for the ladies. When the bed is in, typically what we'll do is we'll move this toilet from the back when we're camping up to the front. There's a good spot for it there and then we can have free use of the toilet. It's really modular. That's the great thing about this van is it's we can set it up how we want for each activity that we're going to do. We also have an outdoor shower here. It uh, runs right out the back. It's hot, cold water. So if, if the whole family was going and everybody had a bike, we'd have to have an external bike rack. That is more rare that we're actually going to do that. So typically it's just two of us or three of us going for a bike ride. And in that case, we can get all the bikes back here running through the garage wall and we could just zip that up. Again, modularity was the focus and that ability to change at a moment's notice based on what the loadout needs to be. Outside Van is a, it's just an amazing company. Um, we're very, very pleased with the van as a whole and what it's done for our family. It absolutely has promoted us to get outside and, and we've just embraced it. Uh, we've embraced what it means for us uh, as a family and just to, to do more and to do more outside. We're ready for it. Uh, we're also ready to go off the grid to camp, uh, and just to hang out and have fun. What kind of van is this? It's a van. Do you like it? Yes. Yeah. So we're at camp with a guy's name, we, and we're doing good faces. Yeah, we're doing that, and we're just starting the fire right now. Yeah. <laughs> Well, and cause, and there's already marshmallows. Okay, and bye bye. Take pictures of the campfire. It's now.